This week, social media has carried a lot about the Greek economy and the crisis in the euro, which of course holds potential to cause havoc in Welsh agriculture. A far payment start life in euros after all, and we're all subject to volatility in world markets, as the current prime land price fiasco clearly illustrates. But the comments on social media are not particularly hard on Greece, quite the reverse. There's actually outrage about the way the German government are acting. Why? On the 27th of February 1953, an agreement was signed in London which resulted in the cancellation of half of Germany's, then West Germany's, debt. 15 billion out of a total of 30 billion Deutschmarks. And those cancelling the debt included the United States, the UK, France, Spain, Pakistan, yes, and Greece. Countries which are major debtors today. Following the debt cancellation, West Germany experienced an economic miracle with large-scale reconstruction and high rates of growth in income and exports. This all got me thinking about a story Jesus told about a man who owed a lot of money to a more powerful man, got called in, pleaded and was let off. But then as soon as he got outside, he seized a man who owed him a lot less, seized him by the throat and demanded his money back, refused that man's pleas for mercy and threw him in jail. Now, when the first most powerful man heard about this, he was furious. And he called the unmerciful man back, threw him in jail and promised he wouldn't get out until he'd paid every last penny. And while everyone was saying, fair play, Jesus said, this is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. Well, ouch. Now, of course, Jesus wasn't talking about banks or nations. He was talking about us. And surely it's a mug who loves his grudges more than he thinks he needs and asks for mercy, the mercy of God, both for the stuff he's done or failed to do and the stuff he's just plainly got wrong. You can get in touch with us at any time by contacting us through the website landing page. You'll find it at www.ergroup.com and we'd be happy to help you with these things in any way that we can.